guys welcome back my name is blessing a dbte and you're on real life talk with blessing please if this is your first time of coming across my videos subscribe to my channel like my videos also share with your friends i will say you don't know who could learn one or two things from these videos so let me share a story with you guys so one of my daughters my first daughter actually we wear the same shoe size. So she saw one of my shoes and she was like, ah, mommy, I want this shoe, mommy, I want this shoe. I said, you can have it. She wore it to school once and she came back and was like, mommy, Jesus, my toes are dying. I'm like, why? She said, mommy, how do you wear this shoe? It's tight. <laughs> I said, she like, but when you wear it, it's like, it's not painful. I said, the truth is, it's actually painful when I wear it. But you know what I do? I curve my toes. So <laughs> somehow I actually wear that shoe, covering my toes, but nobody knows. Why am I saying this? Are you asking someone about their life? You don't know what they're going through. They say, you have to wear someone's shoes to understand their situation. Until you're in someone's situation, you can never understand their pain or their anger. You see, this was actually very funny because this child sees me wearing this shoe all the time, going about like nothing was going on. That's how some people handle their problems. They're in some tight situations. But they smile, they look happy, and you're like, wow, I want her life. You might be shot. The life behind that smile is a curved toe inside a very tight shoe. Don't judge people based on what you think you've seen on the physical. You don't know what they're going through underneath that smile, that makeup, that beauty. You just have to be in people's shoes to understand their situation. Oh, a, a woman couldn't withstand the pain and anguish in her marriage and she had to move on. And you think you can question that? You just have to wear the shoe of being in an unhappy marriage to understand her situation. You're asking a woman, why you not bear her now? You did domestic violence relationship. I, I manage now. Other women, they manage. You just have to wear her shoe. To understand what she's going through. Until you wear someone's shoe, don't question their decision. Until you wear someone's shoe, don't ask them why they live the way they live. You just have to wear their shoe to understand them, to understand their situation. My daughter wore my shoe. And she realized, wow, mommy, this shoe is not comfortable like I told. But when you see me out there, you'll be like, ah, bless it, this is your shoe. But you don't know what's going on under the shoe. If my daughter didn't wear that shoe, she wouldn't know what I was going through. You have to fit in people's situation to understand. Today, she don't fling the shoe. You think you can fit in their shoes until you are right in that situation. For you judge people. Be very sure that when you find yourself in that situation, you can handle it also. People make decisions. It could be a bad decision that doesn't go well with you, but that doesn't mean it. it's for them. They make right decision at that point in their life. Imagine judging a single mother because you think, oh, why is she not married and she has a child? You just have to fit in someone's shoes to understand their situation. Oh, well, guys, I hope you've learned something today. Please don't judge people. Show love to them. You don't know their situation. You don't know what they're going through. So as much as you can, be kind. Show love and become situated. Okay? Oh, girl.